You can use variables to store different types of data. Data types tell Python how to work with a particular piece of information. The simplest data types are numbers, and the simplest of the numbers is the integer data type. This data type lets you store positive or negative whole numbers. When I declared my variables swords, potions, and apples, I used the integer data type. I can also make the values of my variables negative, like, for example, if I had a variable outside temperature and assign the value negative 9 to it. Now let's explore integers in Minecraft by teleporting the player to a new location using integers. First, you need to know that your player has a position in Minecraft and is represented by the X, Y and Z coordinates. Also, you need to know that if you were to move east, then your X coordinate would increase. If you were to move north, then your Z coordinate would decrease. And if your player is jumping or flying, then your Y coordinate would increase. Also, uh, you can see while playing what the current location of the character is by pressing F3. If you press F3 and then you look for the block piece of information right there, you can see that your player is currently at X negative 1, Y 95 and Z 1. And as you move, this information would be changing. So notice how as I move the coordinates defined by the information block change. Good. So now we know that your player has a location. We know how to see that location within the game Minecraft. Now let's teleport your player using integers. So let's open idle. And uh, this time we're going to actually create a file, a, a program in a file. So let's open a new file. Okay. Let's put it here. So let's start by saving this file right away. So I go to save. And I will create here a new folder. I'll call it variables. And I will call this file teleportation. So idle will save my file as a .py file. This is a Python, that's a Python file. So now add the following code from mcpi dot minecraft import minecraft followed by mc equals minecraft dot create you should be very familiar with these two lines these are the two lines that connect us to the game and you will be using them every time you create python programs that connect to minecraft now let's define three integer variables that will hold our location. The location where we want to teleport actually. And for now, let's just type the following numbers. Okay. So again, these three uh, variables represent the coordinates to teleport to. And finally, let's teleport using set tile pos position and this will teleport the player okay so what is this set tile pause XYZ thing this is a function that has three arguments that represent the new coordinates where we want to move uh, we will be using functions with Minecraft a lot and you will learn more about functions in later chapters. You will, you will even make your own functions. But for now, think of them as reusable code that serves specific purposes. And think of the arguments as 
data that tell the function exactly how to behave. So right now we have this function set tile position that will change the location of our player with arguments x, y, and z. Uh, three values that represent where we want to move. And these values are integer values. Cool. Uh, also, um, it's a good practice to get used to add comments to your programs. So let's add that right now. So comments are represented by the hashtag sign and they will be ignored by the Python uh, compiler. All they do is they help you uh, remember what your program does. And anyone reading your program can have a better idea of what the program is doing by reading your comments. So let's add comments, connect to Minecraft. So again, this will be ignored by Python, but it's a good practice to leave comments um, to make your code easier to read. Coordinates to port to teleport the player. So as your program gets larger, if you have comments, this will help people read your uh, read your code and understand what it does. Good. So now we have the program, we have comments, so let's run the program and see what happens. So to run your program, you have two options. You go to the run option and click on run module, or you can press F5. So let's do it. And then after a few seconds, my player changed to a new location. Notice how now block says 10, 1, 10, 12, which is where I asked Python to teleport my player. Okay, let's practice by teleporting to a different place. Let's try uh, maybe something farther away. Uh, and I will even use a negative number, something like that. So after a few seconds, if I run this again, I will use F5 this time. Oh, let's save it, of course, and then go here and notice how I jumped to a new location. And again, notice how the location changed. Okay, so this is the teleportation in Minecraft. Uh, feel free to practice. It looks pretty simple right now, but we will be doing very interesting things with it later. Uh, Play around by changing the coordinates here, try different numbers, negative and positive, and teleport and see where you land.